Hi, Dave. I'm a chemistry professor in uh, Western Pennsylvania, USA. Uh, I work on various types of batteries, and uh, one of them of interest to me is the classic aluminum air battery. Here's an approach you might want to try. Get yourself some uh, a sheet of graphite, and uh, had some of this laying around, little sheet of graphite. You can get them on eBay. Cut a nice little section. If you have a wider area, cut a little section with a hacksaw. It'll give you a nice, nice clean cut. Okay, now this is what I do that's different. I don't want these big bulky work uh, uh, batteries uh, cells for uh, my investigations. And I use vernier circuit boards. That's another story. Um, I'm really interested in the use of deep eutectics and ionic liquids as electrolytes that have no vapor pressure. So what you do is get the graphite, and you've seen people do this. Get yourself a pie pan. Gives you a nice thickness. Cut a section out that you'll wrap the graphite in. Now, of course, the graphite is going to be your cathode where oxygen there gets reduced, and the sacrificial anode is the aluminum. And a lot of people wrap this up in paper towel and other things. Uh, why don't you try, and I do very well with this, dialysis tubing. Now this is an interesting concept. You can get the dialysis tubing used in biochemistry to purify proteins. And uh, the semi-permeable membrane will surely allow the, the uh, ionic liquid or deep eutectic to uh, cross. And this is what it looks like if you don't have any biochemical uh, training. Very easy to work with. You get this, it's basically probably a cellophane modified, uh, modified cellulose. And uh, you cut a section, appropriate length. Takes a few seconds to open it up with your fingers. Place the piece of graphite in the tube. Dip it in your uh, electrolyte. I use choline chloride and uh, Levolinic acid, so it's a biochemical deep eutectic, works very nice. And uh, what I'll do then is simply wrap the uh, encased graphite electrode, no manganese dioxide, no activated carbon, no mass. Put it in the dialysis tube, don't let the aluminum contact it, cut out a section of aluminum. And I'll tell you another thing I do get yourself a paper punch. Let me grab a hold of one there. get one of these paper punches and cut a couple of holes in the aluminum so it can breathe you want the battery to breathe you gotta get air in there so I put a couple of holes in it just to let air flow now what I like about this I've been hitting 1.20 volts and you can see how narrow it is and I like that dialysis tubing now will it hold up over time well that's what I'm studying but I think it's worth a try and uh, let's see what I get right now. So I'll get the multimeter on. Here's a quick reading. With my luck, it'll probably be down at zero volts, huh? Hold on. I got that. Now we'll get the other. What are we getting? Okay, 1.22 volts. Let me see if I get your reading. All righty. There we are. What are we getting? 1.18, just have 1.22, and I'll hook a few of them up in uh, series, work in the 5 volt, 10 volt range. So get a couple of holes in there so it can breathe, and I've had a couple of them, two or three now for three or four days that uh, sitting around and uh, that don't drop that much in potential. Let me shake it around a little bit, just breathe on it, let's see if that helps. Let's see what we get. Okay, I just caught a 1.19. See, it's going to go up a little bit. Very convenient. The, the novel feature here is uh, the dialysis tubing. Uh, if you didn't have a biochemistry training, you probably wouldn't know that, or a polymer science training. Uh, this is from Sigma, Sigma Aldrich. 
and uh, catalog number D-0655 dialysis tubing and it's uh, cellulose, probably a modified cellulose. We don't have to worry about cutoffs with uh, proteins or anything. Your electrolyte can move through it. I'm getting uh, contact, I'm not getting a short circuit and I think that's worthy of a try. Hey, thanks for watching. Sorry about the sloppy video, but it's been a long day. You take care. Let me know if you try it, how it works. Bye.